Okay, this is the SC4 Chinese lathe and one or two things needed doing to it. I'll deal with three things here. First of all, the surge suppressor on the mains input, then a fixed tool post support to replace the compound that's provided with the lathe, and finally, making longer handles for the half nut and power feed levers. With the lathe as supplied, uh, you switch the power on first at the mains and then you switch it on and the switch on the front of the control panel. Unfortunately, about 50% of the time, the inrush current into the control circuit trips the 16 amp breaker in my workshop. So I made a simple resistive transient suppression circuit, which limits the input current to just over 5 amps. At switch on, there's a 47 ohm resistor in series with the mains input, and then that's bypassed a few milliseconds later by a mains relay. Simple but effective. For the sake of interest, this is the noise made by the gearbox. Despite this lathe being considerably more robust than my previous small lathe, uh, rigidity is still a problem and the supplied compound slide does nothing to help that situation. So I made a solid tool post holder from a piece of conveniently ground both sides cast iron. Just drilled a few holes in it and made some T-nuts and then it's just a case of uh, mounting the quick release tool post on it. Uh, I'll talk about that a little later. And yes, it will need squaring up. I do intend to fit digital readouts to this lathe, but in the meantime, there's a little crib sheet to remind me what the divisions are on the hand wheel and just have a look at the backlash on this cross slide. Amazing. And the third thing I've looked at is the handles on the levers for the half nuts and the automatic power feed. Um, a pretty grotty feel to these things, but also because they're so short, it's just not very nice to use the things. So I just lashed up some extended versions uh, with a more convenient 6mm spanner flats. It still feels a bit like an Austin 1100 gearbox, I'm trying to find the particular positions here. Not really very happy with it as a design, but at least it's more comfortable with the longer levers. Of course I'd normally operate these from uh, further to the left, and therefore the longer half nut lever does actually make its operation quite a bit easier. And here are a couple of things that aren't mods, they're just simply a different choice of configuration. Here's the quick release tool post, um, absolute no brainer when it comes to uh, working with one of these lathes. And because of the type of work I do with soft materials and generally uh, on small diameter round bar stock, it makes a lot of sense to replace the standard three jaw chuck with an ER32 collet system. Now I very, very seldom use the three jaw chuck. And finally, something to be aware of, the majority of the headstock casing is plastic, not metal. Here we just have a bit of a tap around and find that although that front wall is cast iron, most of the rest of the stuff is plastic. Apart from the screw cutting gear cover which is thin steel sheet. So as soon as possible I'll be replacing this top plate uh, with just a simple sheet of cast iron that will allow me to attach magnetic holders to it. Thanks for watching.